Hi everyone, I'm Igor, the co-founder of Amazonia PPC Agency. Since 2016, our agency has been helping Amazon brands scale their businesses. And in this video, I'll be sharing some tips on how to optimize your DSP placements. So we're not talking about campaign manager placements now. This topic is strictly for DSP and I'm gonna show you what's the issue and how to solve it pretty easily. Now the issue with the um, with Amazon DSP is that you have that e-commerce responsive uh, type of creative where you don't need to add manually created uh, creatives, but enable Amazon to choose where to show your ad and dynamically adjust the placement size. It's pretty amazing. And by using this e-commerce responsive creative, Amazon DSP actually gives you more options to target like contextual targeting and a few other options. Now, um, the issue here is how to see your placement performance, because depending on the size of the ad, your uh, ads can show on various places on Amazon. And if you selected that, even off Amazon. And by doing a simple report on your placements, you can easily spot uh, where you're uh, losing money and where you're uh, missing the opportunities. Uh, this is very important because if you're tight on budget, uh, you really are missing out on a lot. Uh, now, it's pretty easy to find it. Let me walk you through it. Uh, once in your DSP uh, console, you want to select your order in question. So go to the orders and then inside you will see your line items. Click on the line item you want to optimize. In this occasion, it's this one that spent 18,000 uh, 18, euros. Um, just scroll to the right and find the report button here. Now, please note, uh, it, it could be very... Um, uh, easy to miss this button because you can actually remove it for, from your column. So if you don't see the action column, go to your columns, customize columns, and then add the report one. When you click on a report, uh, one fancy report is going to open. It's pretty useful. You can see a bunch of things over there. Usually you land on an, on, a, on an overview tab, but you can browse, you can select different metrics over here. Really, you can dive deep into whatever the most important KPIs for you are. Um, select the, the date range that you want to have uh, and move to the placement tab. That, that's crucial. Go to the placement tab and here you will see a lot of placements. You can see the placement size, the date range, and the detail metrics over here. So what you want to do is you want to export to Excel. And once in Excel, then it, it will give you some options to create the pivot table. Let's do that on the go right now. So I've selected, yeah, once again, so the same, uh, uh, all the same things that you can see in the placement report uh, on DSP, it's over here. So you can see all of the different metrics, the, the, the return on ad spend and everything else. So back to our pivot table. Uh, on the row tab, you should move placements high size. And on the values, you want to have total cost. Uh, what's there? We want to have uh, purchases and we want to have... Total product sales. Yeah, let's uh, just reorganize it a bit. Okay, let's make it a little bit more easy to, to track and understand what's happening. Here, it's now clear uh, what's happening. So this uh, size of the ad is giving us around two point something return on ad spend. Let's add that one return on ad spend here quickly because that's going to show us where are we missing but you already can see what are the opportunities here also make it a little bit more easy to follow okay so uh, you can easily see that these two placements here have almost the same number of purchases but look at this this is the spend for this one and how much money you we we uh, we got from this and take a look at this one so 3000 euros in ad spend and almost 20 grand in product sales so obviously we are spending a lot of this uh, a lot of money on this placement so we want to exclude this one now in this particular occasion um 
we uh, the seller who's using DSP and we help helping them with that is limited by budget on, on, on this order. So we know that if we utilize that budget more effectively, we can see a, a, a lot of return. Please know that sorry. <laughs> Please know that if you exclude a certain placement, obviously you you have. Um, a downside to that is that you're going to miss uh, part of the sales. But in this occasion, we know that there is more market share that we can win uh, on this one, on this placement. It's similar to what you can see in Campaign Manager, where you, for example, have a top of search, you have a rest of search and uh, PDP. So uh, this is almost the same thing. So this this guy is probably. A uh, good position banner, and we are winning a lot on uh, a lot on all, a lot of sales on it. Uh, so I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, guys. Um, so, uh, so we are winning a lot of sales on that one. So if we limit uh, this one, let's call it PDP. If we limit this one and focus all the budget up there, we're going to see the best conversion rate, the best return on ad spend. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to exclude this resolution, uh, this um, not resolution, this size of the banner ad from the ads. Uh, how you can do that? You just want to go to your line item and then under the creatives, just click on the creative that you want to edit. Once you click that, you're going to see additional window pop, pop up and just scroll down on the left and click creative settings. You will see all your all your uh, examples of your um, banner sizes on on the right, and you want to scroll down and and find the one in question. That is the 414 by 125. This is the sucker. So just exclude it. Now it's not going to be served, and you want to go down there and just click save. That easy. So by just analyzing the data that we have and acting upon it, you will see a huge difference in your return on ad spend. So you saw that on average we had, um, still it was a good ROAS, it's very, very competitive niche, but still we wanna have, instead of having like, what's the average, three or four, uh, now we wanna emphasize that and go double than that, so maybe even six or seven. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, if you need help with your DSP, you can contact us over our website. And please let me know in the comments if you have, if you have any further questions. Yeah, uh, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.